Hey, I'm Cameron McKenzie at CameronMCNZ on Twitter, and I wanted to talk to you about building your Maven projects with GitHub Actions, showing you how easy it is to spin up a container, download the right version of the JDK, and do a Maven build and look at the results. Now, if I want to build a Maven project, the first thing I need is a Maven project. So you can see right here, I've only got one repository I've been playing in, getting started GitHub Actions over my Learn GitHub Actions account. But I do have a little rock, paper, scissors application over here in this repository called Learn Bootstrap Fast. And so I'm gonna click on rock, paper, scissors. It's a Maven project. You can see the palm file is right there. And I'm gonna click this fork button over here. And that will quickly give me that rock, paper, scissors repository with a little standalone Java application inside of it, which I'll be able to build, test, and even package up in a jar file by using GitHub Actions and Apache Maven together. And there we go, the fork is complete. If I come over here to my repositories and do a little bit of a refresh, you can see that I now have that repository available to me. And I'll click over here. You notice we've got the palm file, nothing too much going on here. Looks like it's an older version of JUnit. It's gonna be packaged up as a jar file, it's supposed to be rashambo.jar, I guess, seeing that's the artifact name. So as you can see, it's fairly simple, fairly straightforward, but it's got all of the things that you need in order to just test out a, a Maven application. It's got a few Java classes here, and it's also got a few test files in here as well, and so, you know, let's just give us the idea, does it compile, does it do the test pass, all sorts of things like that, which is what you wanna know when you run a Maven project. So how do you actually build this using GitHub Actions? Well, the first thing you wanna do is go over to this Actions tab and click Actions. Now, GitHub did not do a very good job of guessing what type of workflow that I needed. It thinks I need a Jekyll workflow and I don't think I need a Jekyll workflow. It's got Node, Amazon, Rust, none of this is gonna work for me. So I'm gonna say, you know what, just let me set up my own workflow. And so I'll click on that option. It'll create the main.yml file for me and set things up basically so that I can use this. Um, just giving you a quick look at, at how this is configured. You'll, you'll have a name here for your build. That's something that's worth changing. So I'm gonna change that to GitHub Actions Maven Build Example. It's gonna say, when do you wanna actually trigger this? And I'm gonna trigger it on any builds of the master branch, any push to the master branch. Now notice I've got the master branch. This is an old repository, new branches will say main as we're switching from using the term master to using the term main. Going down here, you can see the file's been set up a little bit to do some work for us. It says it's gonna run this on the latest Ubuntu container. So that will work for me. Um, and it's going to check out the code in the current repository. That's the first step. Now I like to give that step a name. I don't like just to have these random steps there. So I'm gonna just edit this a little bit there. I'm gonna put in name, step one, check out the main branch. And that means when I do that, I gotta get rid of that dash there. You gotta make sure that your YAML is correct. The next one, I'm gonna give it my own name, which is just setting up JDK 1.8. And so there we go. The name for this is gonna be step two, set up JDK 1.8. I'm not gonna do hello world here. I'm gonna do some serious stuff. And when you use JDK 1.8, you have to add this little uses clause. And these actions things are things that are set up by GitHub. So you can reference GitHub's action that checks out some code. You can reference one of the GitHub actions that sets up Java. You do have to specify what version of Java you wanna use there. And I'm sorry, I used version Java 1.8. I know I should be ashamed of myself. I should only be using the latest long-term support release, but that gets me out of trouble right there. So that's Java version. So that will set up the JDK for me. Now right here, I'm getting a little static from the YAML editor, but let me see, I'll go down here and use this for step three. Oh boy. Okay, and step three, what's step three gonna be? Well, I've got my Java, I've got my Ubuntu image. Well, I guess step three is just to actually build the Maven project. So the name of this is going to be, have GitHub Actions build the Maven project. 
what is the step that I'm going to run here. It, notice it's got a pipeline there. If you put a pipeline in there, you can put multiple steps after the pipeline. I don't need that. I just need to run the maven command and look for that pom.xml file, which describes my application. We saw that just a moment earlier. Dash B means do this in batch mode and it's going to run the package command. Um, so it's just one of the, you know, you often see GitHub, Git, or <laughs> GitHub, you often see Maven install, Maven clean, Maven package. That's what it's calling there. That package is that a goal, a phase? Um, but that will compile, test, and package up my application in a nice, tight little jar file. And then finally, what's the last thing that I want to do here? I guess I will. do a little bit of a look at what's hanging around inside of my environment, right? So I've just done this build. I could maybe just kind of inspect all of the different files that have been generated. So step four, I'm going to just list out what's in the current directory. Let's run the ls-a command, which will give us a look at all of the hidden files as well. And then finally, you know, I, when you run Maven, you should generate a target folder, right? Like nothing new under the sun is going on here. This is just running Maven and Maven's doing its thing. So the last step that I wouldn't mind doing here is just running the, well, I've got a couple of commands here. I want to first throw that pipeline in there. I first want to move into the target directory. I'm going to throw a bunch of carriage returns in here just so that you can see what I'm doing. I'm going to move into the target directory and then I'm going to do an ls-a in here. And then I should be able to see my jar file created in that container. Okay, so that looks like a handsome little file right there. I'm going to delete a couple of these comments here. Can I put the whole thing on one page if I do that? <laughs> Just about. Okay, I'll delete this comment too. I want you to see the whole thing. It's worth it. There we go. That's the whole thing right there. Okay. And so just going over this, uh, what we're going to do, we're going to pull from master. Anytime there's a, a push or a commit to master on GitHub, um, we're going to use the latest Ubuntu image. We're going to check out the code, set up JDK 1.8. We're going to call the Maven command and package our application. Hopefully everything runs. And if all the tests succeed, if the code compiles, it's going to generate a jar file for us. And we should be able to see that jar file if we do, well, ls-a is not going to do it, but if we move into the target folder that Maven creates, we should see it there. Okay, I'm going to start the commit. Sometimes I have messed up tabs or formatting in my main.yml file. If you've got that, it'll highlight it in red here. So it looks like my file has been written correctly. I'm going to go over to actions here because just committing that file means it's an action. You can see that the file is being run there. It's in progress. I'll click on create main YML. We'll look at the build as it progresses. Looks like we've gone into oh, anybody that's worked with Maven is going to recognize this. We're downloading all of our different artifacts from Maven. It looks like that happened successfully. And so here's the setup JDK. Here's checking out the Maven branch. Now there's Maven running, and boy, do we see a lot of stuff here. Pulling from Maven Central, and we got it all. There we go. Scroll down here. Okay, this is the kind of stuff that we wouldn't mind seeing, building a, a jar for us. Notice that we've got a, a Linux-based file system, and it says Rishambo001-snapshot.jar was created. That's perfect. The build was successful. That means the tests all succeeded. And let's see what's in the current directory. We've got... Um, well, all the files that were pulled, the git folder, the palm.xml file, that's all the stuff that is part of my repository. There's also a target folder. Now let's take a look at that target folder. And you can see in there, well, we've got Surefire reports and the classes folder where everything's compiled, but there's the file that's of great interest to us, the Rashambo snapshot.jar file, which is the result of running our build. Now, we got to do a couple of steps to actually get that artifact uh, available to us for download. You want to make that available as an artifact or you want to push it to JFrog or Artifactory or something like that. All of that's possible. But for right now, all I wanted to do was make sure that I could uh, run a Maven build and see a Maven build run successfully. And you know what? I did. And uh, I'm pretty proud of myself. Let's just take a quick look at that file again. And there you go. That's what goes into doing a Maven build on an Ubuntu image 
on GitHub Actions. And there you go. That's how easy it is to create an Apache Maven build with GitHub Actions. Now, if you enjoyed that tutorial, why don't you head over to the serverside.com. We got lots of other tutorials on Git, GitHub, Maven, enterprise software development, Java, you name it. If you're interested in my personal antics, you can follow me on Twitter at CameronMCNZ and subscribe on YouTube.